Recall, we have learned two methods for solving linear systems thus far. The first one from grade nine is solving by graphing. If we have two lines, we can graph them and see where they intersect. And yesterday we learned algebraically how to solve by substitution. Another method today is elimination. Once again, we have two lines written in different forms that we need to solve. Let's follow the same process. First thing we're going to do, we're going to label the equations. So when I go to do that, I'm going to label Let's say the first one is equation one, second one equation two. The next step, I'm going to rearrange so that the same variables are lined up. So again, if I use a highlighter to see that they're lined up, all the x terms are over top of the x terms, all the y terms are over top of the y terms, and all the numbers, the constants, are over top of the constants. Doesn't matter which side of the equation they're on, but that they're actually lined up. So there's step B. Sweet. Now where we would have rearranged, now, because they're lined up, we need to multiply the equations, and that can be one or both, if it's needed, so that one of the coefficients are the same. So right now, I look, the number in front of x for equation 1 is the same as equation 2. There's 1x and 1x. I would only do this step if I needed to get the number of y's the same. I need to somehow make 3y the same as 2y, 3 and 2 both going to 6, so I would multiply the, second, the top equation by 2 and this bottom equation by 3. And again, I'm multiplying the whole equation if I want to eliminate y. Right now, because x's are the same, I'm okay. So here we go. So that they're the same. Right now, the x's, the coefficient in front is the same. Already done for me. The next step. I'm either going to add or subtract the equations from one another. And that's going to serve to eliminate one of the variables. So to show how I do that, I'm going to draw a line underneath, and then I'm going to communicate what I'm doing. If I say equation 1, subtract equation 2, that means 1x, take away 1x, which is 0x's. That's going to mean negative 3y take away positive 2y, which is negative 3y take away 2y, which is negative 5y's. Where the equal signs are lined up, they stay. And now it's negative 2 take away 8, which is negative 10. By adding or subtracting, I have now eliminated the x's. And I am saying 
where these two lines meet, what is the y value where those two lines cross? Once I know the y value, I can put it back into any one of the original equations to find out what that x coordinate is where those two lines cross. A trick to think about is if we have a positive number and a positive number, we want to subtract them. So we're going to say equation 1, equation 2, we're going to say 1, take away 2 if they are the same sign, because that will get us zero x's. If they are opposite signs, equation one and equation two, we're going to add them, because a positive number plus a negative number is just positive, take away that same number, which gives us, again, zero. Same sign, subtract, opposite signs, add. If I look at that, same sign, subtract. Opposite signs, I would add them together to eliminate the y. Now that I'm here, I can actually solve for my variable. As I continue with math, negative 5y equals negative 10. Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5 to isolate and solve for my variable. Negative 10 divided by negative 5 is negative 2. Remember that that is an actual point. That is the y coordinate of the point that these two lines intersect. Now I need to find my x. To do that, I'm going to substitute back into one of the original equations, and specifically that variable I just found. To keep my communication, there's the E. I'm going to say sub y equals negative 2 into, and I'm going to tell you which one I'm subbing it into, equation 1 or equation 2. It doesn't matter which one I sub it into, I will get the same answer. I'm going to choose equation 2 right now. So here's equation 2, x plus 2y equals 8. Everywhere I see y, I'm going to put negative 2. That is, there it is. Now, solve for my unknown. So now that I've subbed it in, let's math. Oh, that's not negative two, that's positive two. Show kick. Pancrats, this doesn't count as you finding it. I caught it early. Take away 4, take away 4. And x is 8, take away 4, 4. Positive. My last step is I actually need to say what x is and say what y is, but I need to put that. So I'm going to state the point of intersection, which remember we can write as POI. So those are two lines, however they look, and where they cross is 4, 2. Take a second, think about the steps. 
flip to the back. Let's try some more.